Hello, I'm back with Enamored Risks. We're here to see what Finn has to say. He wanted to go for a walk. I'm not sure why Finn asked me to walk with him. He looks so serious. I wish I knew what to say. This crutch was getting out of control. Finn, are you alright? Not really. What's wrong? Uh, this is awkward, but... You know I care about you, right? And I care about you, but what is this all about? I uh, feel like we're gonna keep doing this, all this dangerous stuff together that I should be up in front about something. Paxton and Zaina already know, but... Are, are you sick? But stomach flips. I wasn't expecting all this, but if Finn wants to be open up to me, I would never complain about it. A bit. Is it okay if I tell you something heavy? Yes, it's fine. What's going on? He gives a faint smile at my response and gently lifts a uh, side of lifts the no side of my lips with a teasing finger. Don't frown too much. It makes it harder. I'm just trying to take you seriously. He chuckles at that. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Finn finally gets serious again and takes a deep breath before starting. Before I came here, I wasn't in a good place mentally. I was lost, depressed, and suicidal. My boyfriend of many years and I broke up right before I moved here on top of it. I'm so sorry, Jip Finn. The thing is, I'm still... I'm all of those things. I manage a lot better these days, but it's all just managing. He pauses after his confession. I can see in his eyes that his thoughts are on the matter are bittersweet. They can see something that I can't. But he doesn't linger. Finn looks directly at me, and even though through me, maybe even through me, and I know that he sees everything as it is now in the present. I'm here for you, Finn. I know you are, and that means the world to me, because I like you. Oh, what? Ah, I mean I like you too. Where is this coming from? For a moment I thought he was saying something else. As more than a friend, I'm happy that you, that I can like you, because I was so sure that part of me was broken, Alex. My brain feels like it's so circuiting. I was so thrown off. The first thing that comes out of my mouth is a diversion from admitting that a confession that even happened. Wow, your... Was your ex not a good person? He shakes his head at that and gives a self-deprecating laugh that breaks my heart. No, it wasn't like that. I was in a very bad place at the time and my ex couldn't deal with it. It wasn't his fault. I would never want to drag someone down with me. Especially someone I cared so much about. But he left for his own sanity, which was for the best. I would never blame him for leaving no matter how much he hurt me. But will you come in? Oh, y yes. I know I should say something about his confession, but my heart is pounding so much that I can't think clearly. He told me something so personal, and then told me he liked me. What am I supposed to do here? Just tell him you like him. You have a crush. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? Shit! Eh! When we enter, there's some sort of an animal darting around Finn's room. What is that? Ah, close the door, will you? It's alright. I do as he says, but why is he so calm? He runs to the kitchen and returns with a carrot, which doesn't make the situation any less bizarre. Is it a rabbit? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Come here, Cerberus. You made a mess. The running animal leaps into Finn's outstretched arms. And it's the most adorable rabbit I have ever seen. <laughs> a staring awe at the purring bunny. 
do bunnies purr. What? That so clearly knows Finn and looks like him too. I can't believe he has built an eyeliner. <laughs> you have a pet bunny? Uh, no, I mean, Zebra's one fluffy kittens must have escaped. He's not really a pet. <laughs> Zebra's one fluffy kittens. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Zebra's one fluffy kittens. Finn definitely named it, and it's definitely his. I'm just. I just. I, I, he just. I saved him. I'm nursing him back to health. Oh, he looks pretty healthy to me. Well, I'm just making sure it's not a big deal. He's not. Anyway, Alex, will you keep this a secret? Right? Right, they'll charge you for keeping animals here. Of course I will. Thank you. Oh, that is so cute. I think continues feeding Cerberus the softest expression I have seen on him in a long time. Cerberus looks so comfortable in his arms. He's sincere when he wants to be. His actions only have all this time. I, he, how he feels all the time now that I think about it. Finn's been honest with me and I should do the same. Yes, you should. Finn, I like you too. Oh? I guess if we didn't know how to other felt after all. Finn looks at me in shock and it only makes me regret not saying anything. Cerberus jumps out of his arms and the movement seemingly brings him back to his senses. You do? I'm sorry I didn't say anything earlier. I think I've liked you for a while and I honestly would like to know, learn more about you. Oh. So, uh, what now? Hmm. How about you stay the night? What? <laughs> I mean, just talk. <laughs> You're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Why? Disappointed? You're teasing me when I'm being serious. Wow, I can't tease my future girlfriend. Girlfriend? Finn's teasing the smirk disappears as he cleans and leans in closer, looking at me with completely earnest expression. Alex, he ta gently takes my hand in his and lifts them to his cheek. You're burning up, Finn. I just wanted you to know how serious I am right now, even though I'm always teasing you and messing with you. Will you go out with me? You can say no, of course, but... I would prefer if you didn't. I know I'm far from perfect, but I would really like to try with you. When I look back into the blues... Blues, yes. Things blues... Blues. Ugh. Blue eyes, I can see that I'm smiling. It's like they're ocean waters themselves and reflecting a calm back into my heart. Oh. It's a calm that makes it easiest breathing to respond all my troubles bopping away on those ocean waves. How can I possibly say no? Up the play with Cerberus for a while, we end up in his bed without uh, talking about anything specific. The weather, classes, our adventures, all those things that seem so ordinary now feel so precious. To think all this started because I wanted to escape my parents and do something new. Finn, are you awake? I guess not. <laughs> Good night. I don't really know if this is too sudden or fleeting, but I like Finn. It's nice to feel wanted, to have fun, to have friends, to have a boyfriend. And this text box is fading, I think. Maybe my parents wouldn't approve of a trespassing vampire boyfriend. <laughs> vampire. I don't care, do I? Lex. Finn? Alex. It's sleep talking. <laughs> Good night, Finn. Good night, Severus von Fluffykins. Sure. Good night.
that I feel myself drifting off a warm hand in fins. I never felt so relaxed or so happy. Oh, I'm very glad that that was not the end. The next place we go to is a bit more dangerous. The abandoned sanatorium looks like it'll collapse anytime we're walking slowly up the stairs, but... Alright, I'm done. I can't. Paxton? I mean, y you can keep going if you want. If anything happens, it'll be good to have someone stand by, right? You can count on me, if you say so. If something looks dangerous, you can definitely give your opinion, you know. I yeah, sorry. It's alright. We'll see you soon, Paxton. Stay safe. Yell if you need us. Or maybe not. I'll be sc I'm scared it'll collapse the whole place. Not helping. Let's keep moving. The next flight of stairs is m worse than the last. Every plank looks unstable. Like the air feel itself weighs too much and creaks before we even walk. I think this is where I stop too. I can't risk me or my camera. Are you sure? There's not much left, Nana. The top looks so promising. You're awfully excited about this. He never looks worried about danger. After knowing his history, it's mm, a bit more concerning. Of course I am. Don't drag Alex into your nonsense. Come on, guys. Let's stop here. No way. It's okay. I'll look out for him. Ah, <sighs> Alex. Uh, if you insist. If you two lovebirds die, I'm going to kill you. <coughs> lovebirds? She doesn't respond. Simply rolls her eyes and waves us off. Are we really that obvious? See ya. Maybe we are. I tried to copy Finn's steps as much as I can. I was wrong about him losing some, well, on a trip, anyway. But it does still make sense. Keep that plan, careful, change on the steps. Ah! Alex! Finn rushes to catch me right as the step gives under. Ow! Alex! Alex, are you okay? He sits me down a part way up the stairs and I realize I can't breathe. I can't even speak. It's okay. Just relax. I'm here. Finn pats my head affectionately, letting the, his hip fingers thread through my hair until I can finally feel my lungs working again. That scared me. I know. He gently pulls my leg on top of his, inspecting it. Ow. Oh, you scraped your leg. I don't feel so good. Did I almost die? Nah, of course not. I've already broken fingers doing this stuff. A scrape is nothing. You're lucky. Broken fingers? Sure, but I've broken more than that outside of adventuring. When I was at the height of my depression, I'm sure I broke my arm. My leg? I failed a lot, so nothing was quite enough to kill me. Nothing quite enough. <laughs> what is he saying to me right now? So casually? It's like he doesn't even care about his suicide attempts. Well, he probably doesn't. To him, it's, it was the norm. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Yes. Is it working? No. No, it's not. You're doing an awful job. <laughs> Sorry. And he's just laughing it off. Let's go back down. I think that's enough for tonight. I just want to tell him that I don't want him to be hurt. We retrace our steps and meet back up with Zaina and Paxton on the first floor. No one is very enthused when they see me limping. It's just a scrap. Scratch. Alex, what happened? You're bleeding. Finn. Oh, Zaina looks pretty mad. She's alright, it's just a scrape. Yeah, I'm alright, it just stings a bit. That's not the point. Exactly, Finn, you're the one with experience. This is your fault. I told you not to keep going and look what happened. We really need to make to treat that to make sure it doesn't get infected, Alex. Oh, yes, we should. 
Right, let's go. We don't have time to talk about this. It's not your fault. They were pretty harsh. Would it's not your fault help? Um. Sorry, I, you got no mo got most of the blame, Finn. It really wasn't your fault. Twas. No, I decided to go with you. Remember, you didn't force me. Finn, let's let's just go. Hmm. It was an awkward time back. I get patched up by Zaina and offer to walk with him back to his dorm, but he denies me. <sighs> no matter what I do, Finn doesn't talk to me. With a hurt leg, I go back to my dorm to sleep. It's not supposed to be a long walk, but each step is more painful than the last. Scratchy echoes suggest something else is true. Staggering footsteps. Something... <coughs> Something else is staggering footsteps up behind me, even though I know I'm alone. They're only my shadow, limping behind me like a hunting monster under a glowing street lamps in the grey sky. Bzz. Ugh, what time is it? Why is my phone vibrating? Finn? Why is he they te texting me at midnight? Do I... Wanna meet him for another trespass? Just the two of us? Now? It's kind of like an illegal date. Can't say I've ever done that before. Well, my leg is better, but... How safe mm. is it? It's not too old of a building, huh? Hmm. I haven't seen him much outside of class after all last time. I miss him. Right, I'll get ready and meet you mm. there. Heh, <laughs> I miss you too. There he is, Finn. He's already picking the log to get us in. I didn't know he could do that. Shouldn't be. I shouldn't be as impressed as I am. I'm pretty sure that's super illegal. Oh well, I'm too happy to see him again to really care. Finn! Hey. Huh? Just a hey? It's great to see you again. Yeah. Hmm? It's just. Ugh. Nice mansion. Did I make our own choice? Got it. The lock snaps and Finn finally turns to face me, a damning f smile on his face. Alex? W what? I'm really glad you came. Oh, really? I missed you a lot. A lot. I was losing it. <laughs> I even forgot to put eyeliner yesterday. I is that so? Hmm. He laces his fingers through mine, brings my hand to his lips for a gentle kiss that's far more uh, princely than I, it has any right to be. What? Wanna hold hands? I'm the one losing my mind. He's unbearably handsome with the way he's looking at me. I feel like a teenager right now. Sh sure. Let's go. Do we walk inside? And he was right. The first floor is incredibly stable. The mansion couldn't have been abandoned for too long ago. Even the mildew isn't that strong. Finn leads me around the place as my loving guide who doesn't let go of my hand even when it's inconvenient. <laughs> it's said that this place was passed down generation by generation only to forfeited by delinquent grandchildren who spent all their inheritance and went into unspeakable debt. <laughs> that sounds like it was set up to a crime drama show. <laughs> I guess you'll be pleased to know that the family was full of wine tycoons. Oof, scandalous. Very. There are rumors there were even punishment carried out in this very building to those who fell out of their favor. Like... I make a gesture, dragging my thumb across my neck, and Finn laughs. More like... <laughs> His fingers move from side to side near my neck before checking it. His flirty smile contagious if I wasn't already laughing. Hey, stop that before I tickle you back. Oh yeah? Try it. I want you. I move to carry out my threat. 
puffing snatches my free hand in his, pulling me forward to him to his chest. Hey, that's cheating. You're telling me I'm cheating? Well, it's like admitting I won. It is not. I'm simply recognizing your abhorrent conduct. Uh-huh. Since I won, can I have my prize now? Since one bit was, was this a competition, what price? My kiss, what? Not gonna give me one? You... <clears throat> Alright, so maybe he has one because there's nothing more I want to do right now other than to kiss him. He smirks down at me, but I give in to it, leaning up and planting a soft kiss to his lips. <laughs> You're flushing after all that smack talk. I'm not. A anyway, I should show you more. <laughs> yeah. Do you think there's a wine cellar here? Good point. Let's start with the basement. Finn takes me to the basement, testing out the stairs and staying ahead of me. When we make it down, it's hard to see anything at all in the darkness. I'm glad for flashlights. This place is so cool. <laughs> what? Of course you would like it. You want to live in a dark and brooding vampire mansion like this? Ha! <laughs> that's a bit much, but... Uh, that's a yes, but what? Hmm, <laughs> I wouldn't mind it if it was with you. Ha! <laughs> 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 There's still a few bottles here. I'm glad you don't hate me. Ha! <laughs> 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 take a picture. Hmm, how about I hold it and... And you take the shot? Sure. Finn gingerly takes one of the dusty nut bottles off the rack and tilts it back, miming chugging. <laughs> These are gonna come out so good. Nice. Shall I pour you a glass of the finest Chardonnay Madame? Finn grins at me as he takes a horrible impersonation of an aristocratic butler. Absolutely not, sir. Your multi wine does not suit my palate. Apologies for my insolence. He returns the bottle so I can take one more picture, and we go back to the first floor, still laughing and holding hands. Next floor? Sure. I think there should be bedrooms there. Finn, you really researched this place, huh? No, it's more than usual. Your history buff, how much is usual? Well, I usually read up on the history whenever we are going on the surrounding places. What? You never said this much before when we've been out. Yeah, cause no one asked. Oh, poor thing. Now I want to ask you all the questions. Tell me everything you know. Tell me everything you know, sweetie. Well, I didn't ask because I didn't know. Fair enough. You'll have to tell me everything from now on, okay? Sure, if you want. And I bet Zaina and Paxton would love to know too. No, maybe. You say maybe, but you never even mentioned it to them. I think I tried once. Really? Did something happen? Yeah, it never sent. I think my connection went out. Oh. <coughs> oh, oh, a text. <laughs> ow, 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 don't pinch me, I'm kidding. Finn eagerly leads me up the stairs. Oh, you mean you told him in person, but they didn't care, okay? Okay. Y your connection wasn't working, huh? Finn eagerly leads me up the stairs. It's not as stable looking as the first floor, but there is not much to see either. Seems like they didn't use the bedrooms much. Hmm. You do you say that because of the doors? So you know this time there. Yeah, the doorknobs aren't as worn as the first floors. I guess the kids didn't really stay here. I wonder why. We go to the third floor, but it's worse than the second. Noticeably so. I hesitate when we arrive. I Finn let's go with my hand so easily that it kinda hurts. Take your time and be careful. 
I'll go first. All right, you too. Finn doesn't agree to my requests, but I slowly walk along the edges of the floor behind him. Maybe it's my fear, but we sure feel far up now. A small drop calls my attention and I freeze, looking up at the floor. Ruth. It's not leaking in one spot, but several. Finn? When I go up to the roof as a last stop. Th the roof? Finn, look up, it has a bunch of leaks. Finn peers around at the roof for a moment, but my stomach flips when he doesn't look deterred in the least. We can go just to the window. No. Widow's walk. It's leaking, but otherwise it looks like he held up pretty well. I really don't feel safe. As if on a cue, I feel a distant sting in my leg, reminiscent of another time I was unsure. Are you sure? It's probably fine. The view is gonna be amazing. I just really wanted to see you, see it with you. I'm sorry, I can't. I really have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. All right, we'll go to the f first. Well, I'll go first and make sure it's safe. Okay. That doesn't sound like a good idea either. Just stay here with you. I'll check it out for us. Finn? It's pointless to try and talk him out of it. My protests become white noise to the Finn's curiosity, as forgotten as the spider webs that do nothing to de deter him. Cautiously, I follow and watch him go up the stairs to the widow's walk, praying nothing happens. From the bottom of the steps, I can see his legs carefully shifting around. It's beautiful up here. I'm sure it is. I'm gonna get a bit closer, hold on. Wait, it's Finn. I scream before he does. Finn. Ugh. Finn's shoe falls with a deafening thud nearby, sending up dust before floorboard. It falls on, fell on the cracks. It's our way through the ceiling, hanging on to a support beam that can't do the, do the one job it was supposed to. Finn is going to fall, and it won't be just through the third floor. Hold on, Finn. Oh my god, please don't let go. I, I don't think I can for much longer. I'll call for help. Alright. I open my phone to call 111. Ugh. I hear as the beam crack a little more as the tiles of the roof fall through. They'll never get here in time. I'll have to try to help him. At least try. Finn, I'm coming to get you. It's too dangerous. <laughs> I don't care. A panicked voice that doesn't feel like my own shouts at him. I hurry up the short of the stairs to the widow's walk, watching every step I take like Finn's life depends on it. Because it does. Don't move, Finn. <coughs> Finn's teaching come to me in a blur. That step doesn't look safe, my feet shuffle and distribute my weight evenly look for and avoid everything damaged. I don't have time to tremble, but my hands shake anyway when I finally reach him. I want you to take my hand, Finn. Thank you. I reach for him, crawling on my knees and reaching uh, both my hands out to his. He gathers himself for a moment. There's only one chance. If I don't help him, if I don't save him now, I'll never see him again. Finn takes a deep breath before chomping for me and letting go of the beam. The movement enough to send them the support beam screeching down in a cloud in the dust of a abyss of dust. Ah, I got you. As a new support beam, I fear I can't help him either. Finn is heavy, too heavy, and I desperately talking Doa to me until my me and my limbs are screaming from the pain. What's left of the widow's walk floor creaks around me and I shift my left knee away from the spot where I was kneeling, or I was collapsing, I almost fell with him. I don't have time to panic. Finally, miraculously, after one last tug, I pull him onto the stairs and in the safety of my arms. I definitely can't feel anymore. Let's get out of here. I loop his arm around my shoulder for support as we leave the rooftop. Not too far from behind us, I can hear more cracks as if they're chasing us. Will any of these steps be our last? Any. Will any of these? Oh. It's mostly too... 
It's only two more solid steps onto the third floor until we collapse, both out of breath and in shock. <laughs> I should <laughs> take up weightlifting. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm alive yet. Oh, BB. Finn, absolutely, as absolutely exhilarating as that was, I never ever want to do that again. As the first time, it's the first time I've ever been so angry at Finn, but it's almost the first time. It's also the first time I've ever been so scared. I know. Finn's voice cracks, and I look over to see his bruise and sh he shivering hand reaching to brush away a tear I didn't know I had. I see them roll down his cheeks as if he's taken them from me. Oh. Alex, I'm so, so sorry. I'm an idiot. I was being stupid and almost got you hurt because I didn't listen to you. I drag you out here in the middle of the night like an asshole. I almost get you hurt and the worst, that's the worst thing I can imagine. I don't care you, I don't even care if I die, but I would never forgive myself if you did. Alex, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Finn, stop. No, no, I can't. I'm so sorry. If I died, it would be fine, but you, you're so beautiful and amazing and I... No, no, stop. How dare you? I'm, I'm sorry, alright. I don't even deserve to praise you after tonight. Not that, Finn. How dare you talk about the person I love like this? Oh, <laughs> what? How can you still want to be with me after tonight? I know he's heard it all before, but I have to tell him. The thing I want the most from you is to, for you to value your life as much as I do. I don't know if I can do that, Alex. I squeeze his hands in mine, and he squeezes back as if I'm a lifeline. He's hurting so much and I can't fix that, but at the very least... I know, Finn. I, but that doesn't matter. I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'm not I'm gonna be here the whole time, even when you're being stupid, Alex. And and I don't, I can't. If you died, I feel like I would die with you. I was so worried, Finn. I can't hold back my tears anymore. Finn almost died right in front of me and I still feel like he could fall away at any moment. I'm desperately holding on to his hand as if he's on that support beam. I can feel every painful breath in my chest. Alex, you have to know I'm still going to want to go on dangerous places and be a pain in the ass. Sure, that's who you are, but... But... He pulls my aching body closer, despite his own obvious exhaustion. His arms now hug me against his chest and buries his face into my shoulder. But I really like you too, and appreciate you. I'm sorry if that wasn't obvious. You saved my life. And maybe I should care about that more, but... You saved my life every day in a way, you know? You were brilliant today, and I'll never forget what you did for me. Please be more careful from now on. I will. You've become an amazing partner in crime. <laughs> he pulls away and pats my head with a smile. His hand is heavy. As your partner in crime, I demand you listen to me when I say something is too risky. Yeah. I don't know what else to say to his soft affirmation. Instead, I lean in and kiss my idiot boyfriend, feeling closer to him than I ever have before, even though in an instant he was almost just taken away. Great. You fool. Finn ended up having to go to the hospital for two fractured fingers, a lucky break from a snapped neck. Oh, that was a close one, huh? Not a nice place, and I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you like this one. That was dramatic, wasn't it? Oof, we almost lost him. Poor thing. Poor thing, really. I feel like I, right now, I'm sympathizing more with, you know, Finn than I am with our our character. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you like this.
I think I said that already, but whatever. Hope to see you again. Have a great day, and bye!